Amash Baka. May peace, serenity, and prosperity be multiplied unto you all. Kalola Abba Yabba Shuma Bashak Yawasha Barak Dump the Water Baba Halawa Ya Shema Yasharala Yahawa Alahaya Nawaka Daba Mash Baka Shalom Shalom. So, family, and all that's listening, we all know that um, yesterday was a major folly day on the earth. Yeah, a major folly day. Thanks killing, right? AKA better known as Thanksgiving. If you've been tuned in to this channel or you've been a student who has been called to the truth of the most high. It should be at this point elementary for you to have knowledge that the holidays of the world are hated by the most high. But the problem lies within those who claim to be in truth being given over to their flesh and their carnal desires. There was many people who are aware of this hatred the Most High has toward these folly days. And they still went ahead and partake in the festivities of the heathen's holidays. Yeah, yeah. Given over by the foolish emotions of their families and friends and by their own carnal appetite. They went ahead and got them a plate after the gathering was over. They, they went by grandma's house. They went by mama's house and got them a good old Thanksgiving plate though they didn't participate into the festivities with everybody else. Hey, that's still a celebration of such a folly day, right? These particular individuals thought that they can go ahead and bend the rules, right? And try to slick, sneak one by or, or, or be slick with the most high. Nah, the most high saw that. Then you had ones that were blatant that were blatantly celebrating such a folly day and use the excuse for their children to be able to gather with friends and family. Though they have knowledge of this truth, they still went ahead and willingly followed their carnal desire and partook in that holiday of the heathen. Then you had others who completely fell out the truth because of such pressures. They completely turned their back against all biblical knowledge and against those who are defenders of the gospel spreading this truth. They simply turned their back on all of that and went ahead and indulged into those festivities, not knowing that that act alone was the most high completely giving them over to strong delusion. All that happened yesterday, Mashpaka. You may have witnessed it, you may have heard about it, or you yourself may be guilty of one of those offenses that were identified and described. Now, we had some more judgments that carried out from yesterday's folly. The Most High is not playing with you all. And if you're listening to this video and you happen to be one of those who went ahead and uh, uh, participated in such abominations, now is your time to repent. Because you might very well be marked in the spiritual realm. Woe unto you. 
woe unto you. We're going to take this example that happened here in Texas. Yeah, here in Texas. Now, for all my H-Town viewers, we know some stuff went down in our city as well, but we're not focusing here in Houston. We're going to go up to North Texas in a place called Fort Worth, which many of, you, many of us know as Funky Town, the funk, a.k.a. Murder Worth. We know, we know about all those names right up there in North Texas near Dallas. Yeah, we know all of those names for, 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 for Fort Worth, right? This happened in Fort Worth. Now, I got the, uh, the news video here. We're going to listen to the news video. I'm going to add my appropriate commentary. Fair use, fair use. And then we're going to go to the scriptures. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Are here. Police tell us three men were shot on Broadmoor Drive. That's in the west side uh, of the city of Fort Worth. Chris Adegui live this morning at the scene for us. And Chris, police say the suspect is still out there. Yes, Gary, it was a deadly end of Thanksgiving night here in Fort Worth. Police still looking for whoever started shooting here on Broadmoor, leaving two people dead, one in critical condition. Police say that everything happened around 945 last night here on Broadmoor. This is how the Most High works. The Most High catches you when you least expect it. See, the Most High allowed these individuals to carry out whatever they wanted to do on that in, in honor of that folly day and ended up smiting them by the hand of a gunman. Drive. The shooting happened out in the street, possibly a drive-by shooting, as there were lots of shell casings lying in the road. One of the victims died here on scene. The other two were taken to the hospital where another would die. We could see the crime scene investigators going in and out of one of the apartments, but again, the shooting happened out here on the street. In fact, the car was parked alongside the curb on Broadmoor that you see behind me. Now, no one is in custody. Also, so far... So the most high put this death angel into this vessel of this individual who shot these three individuals. One being cut off directly on the scene, the other one being cut off in the hospital, and the third one in critical condition. Now, if the third one pulls through, they better give their life over to the most high and leave all these abominable heathenistic, heathenistic days alone and turn completely to the most high. That's their best bet. No description on who police might be looking to find. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Chris. Turning anyone with $10,000 or more in credit card debt. All right. Let's go ahead and get the scriptures. So this is a reminder that any of you who went ahead and participated into that folly, right? You need to repent because that could have easily been any of you who decided to step out and, and partake into the foolishness of that abominable day called Thanksgiving. Let's get a precept here. Sirach, chapter five, verses two through four. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Verse three, and say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. So of all, all of y'all who felt like you can just go ahead and partake in those wicked abominations from yesterday's folly day. You had that exact mindset, having knowledge of this truth. You followed your own mind and your own strength to walk in the ways of your heart, your wicked ass heart. 
And on top of that, you had the attitude that is mentioned here in Sirach chapter five, verse three. Who shall control me for my works? Being completely in ignorant that the most high will surely revenge you for your pride. He will take revenge for your pride. Verse four, say not, I have sinned and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. So that was everybody's attitude who had knowledge of this truth that partook in the folly of yesterday's heathenish holiday. Oh, I sinned. Nothing happened. Yeah, the most High has you marked. You better repent. You better repent and not give in to your foolish flesh and carnal desires and the foolishness of your friends and family who partake in such an abominable day. Hebrews chapter 10. Verses 26 through 27. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. So when you go ahead and partake in such folly, like yesterday's folly day, and you have knowledge of this truth, there's no more sacrifice for your sin on that. You become the sacrifice in one shape, one form, or one way, or the other. You become a sacrifice. And just like these three out there in Funky Town, Texas, they became a sacrifice by the sword, by the sword, by the sword, the most high formed against them. Verse 27, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 27. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. Yeah. So at that moment you partook in the festivities of that abominable day. You willfully sinned. And the, and the sacrifice of Hamashiach Yahawashah no longer covers you for that sin. You yourself become a sacrifice some way, somehow. Some type of harm is going to come your way for that. Whoa, whoa, repent and do it no more. Revelation. Chapter 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. All of these individuals that were named by the Mosai here in Revelation 21, verse 8, indeed, partook in yesterday's folly day. And the Most High says all of these individuals, the fearful and the unbelieving, because mainly the unbelieving partakes in this abominable day. They partake in these heathen holidays, these pagan heathen holidays. They partake in them. Because they unbelieve that the Most High has hatred toward these days. The unbelieving and the abominable, the fearful, murderers, whoremongers, sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars. They are all grouped together here. They're all synonymous for the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 22, verses 14 through 15. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. So all of us who strive to do our best to follow all the commandments of the Most High, 
and did our due diligence not to partake in yesterday's folly day or any of these folly days. We shall be blessed for having fear of the Most High and keeping his commandments. Moving forward, Revelation 22, verse 15. For without are dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. So everybody who partook in yesterday's folly day fits those categories. Dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever love and make lies. That's everybody who partook in the Thanksgiving folly day yesterday. And see, for you that know the truth, right? All of y'all that have knowledge of this truth, but went ahead and partook into the folly day anyway, guess what? You fit the category of a dog. Yeah, Proverbs 26 and 11. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. That's exactly what all y'all did who went ahead and partook in yesterday's folly day. You returned to your vomit like a dog. Returning to your folly. We all at one point in time used to participate in this folly. But coming upon the knowledge of the truth, we forsook this heathen day, these heathen holidays. We forsook it. We didn't care what friends or family were inviting us. We said to hell with it. Don't invite me to that bullshit. That's what we said. That's the attitude we took. We said the hell with that. We're going to reverence the most high. But no, all you who had knowledge of the truth, who partook in that folly day, you returned to your vomit and lapped up your vomit like a dog. As fools that return to their folly. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 12. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. All you who partook in that folly day having knowledge of the truth was wise in your own conceit. Whoa. Unfiltered truth of the most high. That's what this is. The unfiltered truth of the most high. Truth of your exalted feelings forsaken. May peace serenity and prosperity be multiplied unto you all. Shalom.